Hey, Alyssa here at the UK Fruit Festival, having an awesome time eating amazing foods and having awesome dressings. I wanted to share my personal way that I like to make delicious dressings as a raw vegan. As a raw vegan, um, we're not eating oils and we're not consuming processed foods and all of these dressings that we can get in the grocery store. So I have to kind of work around those ingredients and make something raw that I'm going to enjoy. So when I create my own raw dressing, I always start with a sweet because if you look at most dressings in the grocery store, the first ingredient is typically sugar. So we need something sweet in our dressings. And I like to use dates. So most of my dressings are date based. Um, you could use other things if you don't want to use dates. You could use dried apricots or just fresh nectarines or mangoes or anything like that. You can find a fruit uh, that you want to use for a sweet. Then you need a sour. I like to use lemon juice. You could use apple cider vinegar. You could use a little bit of brine from sauerkraut, raw sauerkraut. Um, but typically, like I said, I use lemon juice. You could use lime juice. You could use orange juice. But anything that's kind of a more of a sour um, taste, you want to add that. Then you want to add um, like spices. So I like to use smoked paprika. Everybody knows that I love smoked paprika. You could add a little bit of garlic, maybe some spring onions um, and other herbs. You could add basil or oregano or cumin or curry. You could add anything that you want to that dressing to give it a little bit more flavor. Then I like to add water, obviously, to blend it. And then sometimes you want to add also a fat. So you can do no fat dressings um, or low fat dressings. You could also add avocado if you wanted more of a high fat dressing or nuts if you wanted to go that way. But for the lower fat ones, you could use nuts or seeds. I like to use tahini, sesame or sunflower to give it a little bit of that fatty creaminess to the dressing. Again, that's not necessary, but you can use that if you want to. So one of the recipes that I'd like to share with you um, would be my classic French dressing, but we're gonna give a little bit of a twist to it and we're gonna add sunflower seeds. So it's super, super simple and this is one of my fallback five recipes that I like to have as kind of like backup for when I'm bored or tired or stressed or had a really long day and I don't really wanna sit and make some nice meal, I will fall back to this dressing and because I know I always love it and I always have ingredients for it. So the dressing is five medjool dates, pit those dates, um, the juice of one lemon, a little bit of apple cider vinegar if you want to add that, two cloves of garlic, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and about a tablespoon of sunflower seeds if you want to make it a little creamy. You could also add chia seeds if you want, but I like to use sunflower seeds, and I call that the sunflower French dressing. Um, Again, you could add other things, more garlic, you could add spring onions or whatever you want to that, but that's my basic dressing that I absolutely love and I use quite often. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope to see you at the next Fruit Fest.